Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to class number 112. It's time for the advanced portion of the class. And here we're going to review some of the material that we saw yesterday. Hagas lo que hagas. No matter what you say, no matter what you do, no matter what you, no matter, no matter, no matter what. what and no matter what you do, we could say whatever you do as well, which is the equivalent to that. Whatever you do, whatever you do, don't touch his computer. No matter what you do, don't touch his computer. No matter what you say, it won't make a difference. Okay? Whatever you say, it won't make a difference. Whatever they do, they can't win. No matter what they do, they can't win. Whatever you eat, it can't be better than what I ate yesterday. Because what, what I ate yesterday, because what I ate yesterday was so delicious. It was fantastic. Whatever you eat. So here we can change it to say, no matter what you eat, it can't be better than what I had yesterday, than what I ate or what I had yesterday. Whatever you heard, it can't be worse than what I heard. So changing that to no matter, no matter what you heard, it can't be worse than what I heard. No matter what he did, it can't be as good as what John did. Now changing that to no, to whatever, whatever he did, it can't be as good as what John did. Whatever we bought, it can't be as expensive as the one she bought. No matter what we bought, it can't be as expensive as the one she bought. Mm. No matter, no matter, no matter, no matter. We have been practicing that a lot. And we'll continue a little bit more with that concept. In the next portion of the class, and in our review tomorrow as well. But let's move on. Right? No matter how hard we study, we can never study enough, right? No matter how much you practice, you can always practice a little bit more, right? So, anyway, let's move on to our translation list. Translation. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for our translation list. Now, it is translation list number 34. Number one. Me inclino a creerle. I'm inclined to believe him. I'm inclined to believe him. Yeah. Well, he seems like a good guy. I've never heard him tell a lie before. He seems quite honest, so I'm inclined to believe him. I'm inclined to believe him. Number two. Esto es lo máximo que puedo pagar. This is the most I can pay. This is the most I can pay. This is it. This is my this is my limit. This is the most I can pay. I can't pay anymore. This is the most I can pay. This is the most I can pay. Esto es lo máximo que puedo pagar. This is the most I can pay. Number three. Ella no me impedirá ir. She won't stop me from going. Mm, this is interesting. Stop. She won't stop me from going. She won't stop me from going. What stops you from going? The price. It's expensive. The price stops me from going. It stops me from doing it. She stops me from, from going there. But here, she won't stop me from going. Mm -hmm. A password stops me from getting into the website. 
Right? What stops me? It, it, it impedes me. We have the verb as well, to impede. It stops me from doing something. It creates, um, well, it, it creates a situation where I cannot do that thing. It stops me from doing it. In this case, it stops me, or she, she won't stop me from going. Number four. No puedo evitar que vayas. I can't keep you from going. I can't keep you from going. We could say, I can't stop you from going. I can't keep you from going. I can't. I can't keep you from going. If you want to go, go. I can't keep you from going. And I'm not going to keep you from going. I can't keep you from going. No puedo evitar que vayas. I can't keep you from going. Number five. Dame una respuesta clara. En voz alta, eh? En casa, en voz alta. I'm leaving this silence for you because I want you to say it out loud, okay? Dame una respuesta clara. Give me a straight answer. Straight, straight. Give me a straight answer. Clara? Y eso no es clear. Well, clara, clear, but give me a straight answer, we say. Give me a straight answer. Don't lie to me. Get to the point. Right? Get to the point. Vaya al grano. To, to get to the point. Get to the point, we say. We have an expression, to beat around the bush. I have some news. What's the news? Well, I kind of was talking to John yesterday. Don't beat around the bush. Get to the point, we say. Don't beat around the bush. When you're speaking sort of around the topic, we say to beat around the bush. Don't beat around the bush. Get to the point. Give me a straight answer. Dame una respuesta clara. Give me a straight answer. Number six. La profecía se cumplió. The prophecy came true. The prophecy came true. Yes, it did. It came true. Number seven. ¿Te molesta el humo? Does the smoke bother you? Does the smoke bother you? ¿Te molesta el humo? Does the smoke bother you? Yeah. It bothers me. Does the smoke bother you? Does the smoke bother you? A little bit, yeah. It does. It bothers me. When I go into bars in Spain, the smoke often bothers me. Number eight. Me gusta como presentas los temas. I like the way you present the subjects. I like the way... You present the subjects. Hmm. Well, thank you very much. That means a lot to me. I'm glad that you like it. Thank you. Number nine. ¿De veras esperas que termine todo esto para mañana? Do you really expect me to finish all this by tomorrow? Do you really expect me to finish all this by tomorrow? Really? Do you really expect me to finish all this by tomorrow? Number 10. Querer es poder. Where there's a will, there's a way. Where there's a will, there's a way, we say. Number 11. No juegues con mis sentimientos. Don't play with my feelings. Don't play with my feelings. Number 12. Que me llamen. Que me llamen. Ooh. Have them call me. Have them call me. Que me llamen. Have them call me. All right. There you go with our review of our translation list. It is time now for our expression of the day. Expression of the day. The expression of the day today is to go hand in hand. Things that accompany each other well go hand in hand. Cookies and milk go hand in hand. 
Hamburgers and French fries, they go hand in hand, one with the other. They go well together. Sure. Like ham and cheese, right? They go hand in hand. Canada and ice hockey, right? <laughs> go hand in hand, hand in hand. They go together. They go well together. To go hand in hand. Our expression of the day, to go hand in hand. Now, as we move into class number 112, we see wherever you go, and again, equals no matter where you go. So we've seen this structure with whatever, no matter what you do, but now we're going to say no matter where you go. And it's true, wherever you go, you can see people wearing Real Madrid clothes. Wherever you go, you can see people wearing Real Madrid clothes. The equivalent, you can say, no matter where you go, you can see people wearing Real Madrid clothes. Vayas donde vayas, no matter where you go, you can see people wearing Real Madrid clothes. It's true. I, I was in Malaysia. I'm not lying. This is a true story. I was in Malaysia in the jungle of Malaysia. And I encountered, well, I was on a tour, and, and my tour group, we met with a Malaysian tribe that lived in the jungle. And they, they lived and hunted in the jungle. And the guy, one of the guys, came walking out of the jungle wearing a pair of Real Madrid shorts. It was incredible. Wherever you go, you can see people wearing Real Madrid clothes. It's true. Wherever you go, you can hear the Rolling Stones. Now you can say the equivalent out loud. No matter, that's it. No matter where you go, you can hear the Rolling Stones. Wherever he goes, he's always in trouble. No matter where he goes, he's always in trouble. Trouble. Now, trouble, remember, trouble is almost the same as problems, but it's uncountable. Problems are countable. I had three problems yesterday. I had some trouble. I had some trouble yesterday. Really? How many problems did you have? I had three, I had three problems. Three problems. Problems, countable, trouble, uncountable. Wherever Tom Cruise goes, people will recognize him. Right? Wherever he goes, Tom Cruise, people will recognize him. Now, using no matter, you can say, no matter where Tom Cruise goes, people will recognize him. Right? Wherever you go, there will be people who speak English. Well, almost. No matter where you go, there will be people who speak English. Almost everywhere in the world. So it's important to study and learn it so you can enjoy all this as you travel. It opens up a world of opportunities for you, right? Okay, let's move on to our vocabulary of the day. Vocabulary of the day. Yes, it is time for the vocabulary of the day. Our five words of vocabulary. The first word today, Oriente Medio. We say the Middle East. The Middle East. Acomodado. Well off. Well off. Yes, he's very well off. It's like a very, um, it's almost like saying rich, but it's a very, a bit of a more formal way of saying rich. He's well off. Yeah, he doesn't have money problems. He's quite well off. Goma. Caucho. Rubber, we say rubber, rubber. Tristeza. Tristeza. Sadness, sadness, ah, yes. Presumir, fardar. To show off. Oh, stop showing off. Showing off, the verb to show off. Okay, to show off. Presumir, fardar, to show off. To, she's trying to impress everyone. He's just showing off. You know? Okay, I don't like people who show off. 
Anyway, it is time to move on now to the very last part of our class. It's time to talk about taking a nap. Una siesta. And um, this word siesta, like it says in the in the student guide, it has it, it, it has almost become an English word. We we welcome it in in the word English to in the wording in the English language we welcome the word siesta and we we often say it oh he's having a siesta um and it but it, of course it's this, this spanish word and we but we have the word nap to take a nap okay to take a nap but um a nap is just a short sleep if you if you go out um some some people go out late at night on a Saturday night, and maybe they have a nap after having dinner. They have a nap, and then they go out. But I don't think you would call that a siesta in Spanish, right? Siesta is, is quite specific. Siesta is your after-lunch nap. But a nap in English, to take a nap, a nap in English is, is uh, just a short sleep any time of day. Hmm. So we have the verb to nap. I was napping. Or we could say I was taking a nap. I often take a nap on Saturday afternoons. I don't nap. The verb to nap. I don't nap during the week, but I do nap on the weekends sometimes. I don't take naps during the week, but I often or I sometimes take naps on the weekend. Mm Mm-hmm. So the verb to nap and also the noun, a nap. I'm going to have a nap. I'm going to take a nap. Okay? Okay, so to take a, na- to take a nap or to have a nap. All right? And uh, I think it is time. I think this is quite clear to take a nap. Um, so I think we should end the class now because we're completely out of time. But we'll come back tomorrow to review this. I, I will be back and we'll review this uh, tomorrow and so much more. And I do hope that you'll join me. All right. Same time, same place. We'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>